And now some of my family members, some of my friends are choosing to get married without living together, even with children, even with twins. Let me explain to you, actually, when you're a woman choosing to live on your own, not because you feel like you are a victim of people not wanting to be with you, but when you actually choose this purposely, consciously, you're going to have three things that most people don't have on this planet. Three things that are so, so rare. Let me tell you in this video. Hi and welcome, Mariam here, sharing about how to live a more nourishing, energizing and prosperous life. I feel like the screen is so small to do this. I should really have it the other way around, but it's just easier to record like that. So, if you are a woman and you purposely choose to live on your own, or if you are a man watching this video and you want to get married with someone, you want that lady to live with you, think twice. When you choose to live on your own, as a man actually, or a woman, but especially as a woman because that one part make us go inside more and tap into our power for ourselves. I'm going to explain why in this video. Whereas for men, their power comes differently. So as a woman, when you choose to live on your own, you have this one thing, more space. Second, you have more quietness, more silence, more time to be in peace, I guess. But really, it's a silent part that is very, very powerful and important. And last but not least, you have more freedom. And with these three things, what can you do that most people omit forgetting in their life, throw in the bin, thinking it's just something like a hobby that you do if you have time and most people don't even think they have enough time to do these things, when really it's the most powerful thing in life that we were actually born from this? Creation, creativity, you create more. In more space, more time, more freedom, with these three powerful things, rare gems, treasures in life, you can create more. You can create. And when you create, what do you have that most people don't even have and have to go outside to get, take supplements, go see the doctor? You have energy. Energy allows you to create. Creating gives you more energy. Energy allows you to create. Can you see the spiral? It's just like that. That's basically the rule of life. You are on this planet to create, which gives you energy, which in turn allow you to create even more or more as in, you know, more purposely in a way that creates more value to this planet and allows it to be more sustainable. This is the equation of healthy living. And so when women choose to live with men, as in a relationship, whether to create a family or just be by themselves. The issue is what they do usually with their lives is women wait or whoever choose to, usually women wait for the man to come back from work or they gather together after work, their work day at the end of the day and then they chill, watching TV, watching a film, having food, right? Because that goes along with the relationship situation. Um, talking, chatting, gossiping, uh, Obviously, arguing goes as well, because if you talk and you gossip, then you also argue, right? Uh, all these things go together. And then there's more chores, laundry, cleaning the house, cleaning the dishes from eating together, all these things, right? And they don't realize that all this time used, especially for women, because women, we like to maintain a house and to make it look good and beautiful and decorate. So when we use our time to do more of these things, then we do less of, crea of creation. We create less and we women are meant to create from our heart, from our womb. And that means we need that space, quietness and freedom to be able to do so and not be so filled up. Our lives shouldn't be so filled up with stuff to do with a man or with other people unless we have chosen to uh, attract those people from our own creation. You see the difference? Let me give you another type of life that I live myself. So when my toddler is sleeping, even when she's not, okay, when she's awake, what we do together is we do activities like fitness, dancing, going out, um, arts and crafts. What do we do? We, If she wants food, then we can either cook together, prepare it together. Um, we do activities like swimming, going to the park, things like that. I'm not saying you don't do that if you live with someone else. But it's slightly different because when, for instance, her dad is over, then we sit and we chat and she's in the middle doing things kind of by herself. I'm not so much involved with her in activities, creativity, when I am with her dad in the same room. And that's okay, you know, because I don't do that every day. <laughs> now, 
when our, my little one is in bed, what I do is I create videos. I send newsletter for um, the kids event that I do. I create new classes like fitness classes, French classes for children and their families to grow and be in more health. And, and I just focus my time on basically serving myself and others. I take time to pamper myself. I don't talk with people. Like I, I don't chat like I would normally chat if I had someone at home in the evening, every single evening. If I was in a relationship, like living with someone, I don't do that. And then this way I can also, when I lay down, I'm not tired. Like I can sleep for a bit, but then I'm awake around one in the morning, uh, midnight sometimes. And then I just lay down because I don't want to wake my little one up. So we sleep next. We do co-sleeping still because it's just more fun. And I, I meditate. I do inner work. I plan my day. I review things that I, I could have done slightly differently or how could I improve them next time. I do the, all this inner work in my bed because I am alone as in not in a, not with a man in my bed, you know. That means I don't share 50% of my thoughts with someone else in my bed. That makes such a huge difference if you think about it. When you have time to yourself, you can really work on growing your energy. Just naturally, your life becomes a meditation because you have no interaction, no interruptions. And if you have a child, that's going to be already your interaction and your interruption anyway. That doesn't mean you don't spend time with your other, you know, your partner, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you can do that, but you choose the moments to do that. You choose. You don't, both of you don't just take it for granted that your space, your time and your freedom have to be based on the other person. You know, no, you don't. So you take all this power back and you use it to create, serve the world. And that way, you're actually never alone. You're never alone. You always have your community because you, you work with them. Like for me, I have so many mum friends, so many families, so many people I never thought I would be able to meet. Uh, and we create together. And that is just so great. And that is made possible. Even me doing a, having a non-profit, working uh, um, with other children, doing all these creative things was only possible thanks to God allowing me, actually at the beginning, forcing me to live by myself. Because at the very beginning, it was so hard for me to accept that. And I was trying to live with someone else, you know, to, to live with my daughter's dad because I thought raising a child this way would be better and easier. And it has proven me all along the way that actually by myself, I'm fine and I'm not alone. And I got so much help and this is so much better to organize this way. I just love it now. It's taken me time, but I just love it. And I feel so much more powerful this way. You're going to grow in a way that you couldn't ima even imagine. Just like fasting, I was sharing in my other video you are going to become that person with time, space and freedom that is just so empowered. And people are going to look at you trying to figure you out and not being able to do that. Thinking, okay, wait, is she a single mom? No, but she has so many people around and her daughter's dad is around so often and they talk nicely and sometimes they go on holiday all together or to fun places and entertainment. So she's not a single mom. Is she um, a business person, but she doesn't seem to work much? How is she? She doesn't have... Is she poor? Wait, no, because she, she does all these activities. She has all those nannies. How is she living in abundance, but being by herself, but not being by herself? Like, people cannot figure me out. And the great thing is they're trying, but they can't. Because I see I don't live like mainstream people. And that's exactly what... Not what you want, but what you're going to exude naturally when you are following your own path. People can't figure you out. But they like the light that you shine. And what you embody and that freedom and empowerment is exactly what they want. And they feel like they can't have because they don't allow themselves to have that. Because they live in situationship, partnerships, relationships where they compromise their space, time and freedom. Without the intention to do so, of course. All right. Join my newsletter for more. I shall catch you up in another video. Be proud and confident that living on your own is great. It hasn't be, it hasn't got to be forever. Um, but yeah, under your own terms, it's actually really great for a phase of your life at least. Bye now.